I liked the black Superman suit because it, A, ties in with the comics. There's a reason for it, although this is something that could have been corrected, I think, because the whole point of that suit is it's it's um supposed to help heal and it absorbs solar radiation better than the regular one. Mm. And I think all they would have had to do is have a little bit. You already heard Jarrell talking in the ship. Yeah, when and it, it was Jarrell just been, and uh, his dad. Yeah, Mr. Kent. <laughs> Mr. Kent. Um, you could have just had the ship be like, Kal-El, you know, this suit will help heal you or whatever. That's all they had to do. Yeah, that's all they had to do because... Little explanation goes far away. Which for, for a director that's giving half the movie is exposition. Mm-hmm. You know, you couldn't throw a two-second clip and being like, this suit will promote healing. It'll help absorb more radiation. You know... And then it's a big fight, so he's going to need all the help he can get. And that explains, FYI, that explains why he flies up into the... When there's a time limit, he's got somewhere to be. What up, Jason? But he randomly flies up into the fucking space to bask in the sun. There's a reason for that, but they don't tell you what that reason right. is. It's just kind of random. Uh, do you have anything else to uh, on that right there? Yes. I oh, I just want to mention one thing. Keep your, uh, your train of thought. The Flash, when he was uh, in his normal outfit and he went to go save Iris, and when he turned and his shoes exploded off of his feet, was so cool. <laughs> it's so cool, but again, it doesn't... It's true, though, because the thing is, normal clothes can't handle that speed. But he didn't lose <clears throat> any other clothes. That's what Which I, is a good point. Make sense. Well, you saw the way his feet turned, and the, his shoes just right, like, exploded but the issue, around Well, his feet. the reason his suit is the way it is, is because his... If he goes fast enough, his normal clothes will just incinerate. And he'd be naked. And he'd be naked. Naked. But again, you only saw... So that's one of those things where it's kind of like, <clears throat> wow, this is going to go way off topic, but... I know, Sorry, people. I know you weren't I know you weren't a fan, or maybe you were, but the Animorphs, were you, did you ever read those? Eh. Okay, so, but anyway... I didn't hate them. I, I read a couple. Dude, they're actually really fucking good. <laughs> I think I... Did they have a series? Yes, that's what I'm touching the on. The Earwig? Do you remember the, the, there was something? Uh, the it, Yerks, yeah. Yeah, dude, those things fucked me up. So, but anyway. I was worried about taking It's a total ripoff of Star Trek II, The Wrath of Khan, but the author acknowledges this. Anyway, my point being, in the books, they cannot morph with normal clothes. Anything they wear has to be skin tight, otherwise it'll just fall off or get shredded. In the series, however, they can morph with their clothes. But it doesn't really take away because they don't, really acknowledge it as a problem Mm -hmm. so i feel like it's one of those things where you we wouldn't have had an issue with the flash's clothing had we not seen the shoes incinerate but the minute i saw the shoes go i was like well wouldn't the rest of his shit it kind of didn't make any sense i'll give you that but i was just thinking how his shoes exploded was really cool I get what they were doing but again they didn't really think that one through because it's like okay well if his shoes are going to get wasted then Theoretically, most, I'm not going to say all of his clothes, but anywhere that has that kind of friction is going to... Oh, yeah, absolutely. Kata, you uh, you watched the movie, too? Who would have what? Uh, comment. It says uh, Jason Jason Kata. He says, it was a great, great movie, but long. Or, I read it. It was great. It was a great movie. Long, but great. 